Hello YouTubers and eBay, eBayers, this is Tom Ronsky from Tom's Music Shop and I got some special today. This Honor Corona 2 Black, made in Germany, I think it's from the 60s. It has got a special grill, somebody painted it and put glittery bellows cover on it, it looks pretty nice. Um, but it's got a problem, some of the notes are sticking, some of the tremel's not coming through. So I'm gonna make this video on how to check an accordion for the reason that a tremolo wouldn't be coming through. So I'm not gonna edit this video, I'm just going to upload it right away, it'll be the easiest. And we'll see how it goes, it might be long, you can just fast forward if you need to. So, here we go. I noticed, I think on each row, that there is a note sticking. And, or not sticking, but just not coming through correctly. And usually that's because there's some dust on there in the way. Or it can be that the, both notes of the tremolo have the same tuning, so you don't hear any tremolo. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go through the F row once and see how that sounds. Okay, first octave has all tremolo. Okay, the last note doesn't. And both the push and the pull, it's missing. So we're gonna have to take a look at that one. And the third note of the C roll. Tuning is a little bit too tight on that one. So I'm gonna have to take a look at these two notes for sure. At this note. And this note here I'm gonna check also. Hold on, I'm taking a video. I'm gonna upload this video, so. Just take out these bellow pins real quick. And then we've already got it open. Take a look, we got GCF reads in there, and these are the H type. So Horner made two that they put in this accordion, the H type and the T type, and the H are generally perceived as the better ones. So I'm pretty happy to see that. I don't think I've seen these in a Horner Corona 2 before. I've seen them in the pre-Coronas, and I've seen them in a couple different accordions, but not this one, so that's delightful that this has the H. All right, so anyway, let's take a look here. I'm just gonna undo these screws. It's really easy. And take out these pins here. These pins are what connect the reblocks together uh, for distributing the sound. Let's take a look here one time. So that's it, I already got it out. And they look pretty clean. In fact, these, um, wouldn't be surprised if these have recently been tuned up, but let's just have a look. Here I got my test bellows. I got this off an old accordion and I just sealed the two sides and put some holes in there. And that's how I test my reed blocks. So let's have a look one time.
could actually hear on this one, when it's outside of the accordion, we have less air coming from this bellows as what will come from the actual accordion bellows. It's not sealed as well, uh, and I can't get the same kind of force on it. So here, on the pull, I'm not getting anything. But I do see one culprit already. You can see here there's a piece of dust or a piece of dirt or something in there. So I'm just gonna have to flick that out. And the other side, I'll have to take a look at that too. Usually flicking helps. So let's just have a look. I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy. And I'll try on the other side too. Just kind of flicking. There's a little bit of tremolo, so they're both working. And if I hold the one note, I can hear to see if only one is working. Both of them on this side were working. I'm gonna try holding on the other side. Okay, so it was as simple as that. There's just some dust in there. But what I do notice is that the tremolo isn't pronounced enough. Actually, now it's sounding pretty good. Just need enough force. All right, so that would anyway, at least I made sure all the notes are working. It could maybe use a little bit of adjustment so that the beats or the difference in the frequency between this side and this side are the right value. They're specified values for each note of each octave. I'll have to take a look at that. Shouldn't be too fast or too slow. But in general, it's, the reblock is in good shape. All the notes are working. So I can set that aside and go on to the next one. And generally, that's what the problem is, is just the reed is stuck because of dust or something else. What else it can be is that the reed tongue if it is pushed in too far into the housing, then it's not gonna oscillate either. Or if this rivet is crooked, it's very seldom, but sometimes a reed tongue could be just a little crooked and then it won't oscillate either. Let's try one more and see how that looks. This is the C-roll. Also looks nice and clean. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's just some dust in there. I need some flicking. One other thing is there is a certain amount of space that these tongues should be away from their housing. If you can see that, I don't know how well it's focusing. But there's actually, I think, maybe a slightly bit amount of too much space there. It might not oscillate that well. These little ones have to be really close to the housing. And the bigger ones, they can deal with more space. Doesn't sound like we're getting tremolo out of that note. I'm gonna try to block this side. Hmm. On the pull, it sounds like we're not getting a tremolo. So what that tells me is that I am gonna have to tune one of these a little bit lower or one a little bit higher, depending on what the tuner tells me.
this side is generally going to be lower than this side and the amount depends on the note and the octave so as the octave goes up then the difference between this one and this one get to be less like over here it's probably seven or eight cents up here it's like 30 cents much of a difference between these so I'm gonna have to tune that a little bit so I'm not quite set up to do the tuning part of this but what I'm gonna do is listen to each side see what the tuner tells me this side to this side this side here should be closer to zero this one should be above zero um, and the difference is what gives a tremolo and if you have a sound where the beat is way too fast then that means that they're too far apart from each other and if the beat is really slow that means they're too close so I'm gonna take a look at that maybe I'll make a video in the future but that's it for today's video thanks for watching bye bye